Hello, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the third part of week one of the Excel 2010 class. And what I'm going to do today is uh, just cover a really basic spreadsheet, um, go over a couple quick formatting things, and walk through saving and quitting, uh, saving a file and quitting Excel. So this should be pretty brief today. What I'm going to do, you'll notice up here I've, uh, I've got the Excel sheet from uh, part two of week one's class. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to copy a whole sheet over. You go ahead and just go to the very top left uh, cell here uh, between the row one and column A and just click it. Single click, left click. And then you can just right click it and say copy. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and show you how to open a new worksheet. So I'm going to go file new. I'm going to go ahead and double click blank workbook for now. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave my cursor here in cell A1 with that highlighted and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say paste. Now you notice there's several paste options. We'll get into those later but you're going to just choose the first one here. And by the way um, you can also, I'll show you an example here, there's shortcuts for all these keys which we'll talk about later but you can go to sheet 2 as an example and I can do control V is the same thing as the default paste alright I'm gonna go ahead and do the undo here because uh, I don't want that I'm gonna go back to sheet 1 and I'm gonna delete these for a moment this uh, the total column and I will um, just walk through that formula one more time for you so in order to what I've done here I've got a I've got a header row here where I have the months, I have a total column, and I have a sales team title, and I have four sales team members here, and I've uh, just put in random numbers for the um, for their sales information. So in order to add all these up to look at their quarterly total, all formulas start with an equal sign, and I'm going to go ahead and do sum, and then I am going to uh, open parentheses and you see number one number two I'm gonna go ahead and single click and hold on cell B2 right here and just drag it over to D2 and then I'm gonna close the parentheses and you can see the formula there is B2 through D2 which are these three highlighted cells I hit return and there they are and there's the total 5250 so I'm going to go over here and I want to copy this down. I can copy this down any number of ways. One way I can do it, I can right click, I can say copy, and then I can right click in, in uh, cell uh, E3 here and say paste. Um, or I'm going to hit escape to get out of that and you'll see that'll stop flashing. I can just highlight the cell or both cells here and I can wait for the cursor to turn into the cross on the bottom right and once that turns into a cross I hit click and I just copy it down. Alright, and there you have it. So now it copies it down and it adjusts the rows as you can see. Alright, when I say to adjust the rows, like now this one copies from row 4, this one copies from row 5. Now, quick thing I wanted to share with you is if you want to um, format this a little bit, you can click on, you can click on the whole row here or you can highlight um, just certain cells. So we're just going to go ahead and highlight certain cells for this exercise. Go ahead and sing, single left click on cell A1 and drag it over to cell E1 and let go. Now the, all those are highlighted. Now you can do this a couple different ways. You can go to the Home tab and go to Bold. What I want to do here is just bold the titles. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to just I'm going to show you a way to um, also bring up formatting of cells and that is you can just right click your highlighted area and choose format cells from the drop from the pop-up menu and that'll bring up all of your formatting options so in this case I'm going to go to the font tab and I am going to do bold and I'm going to click OK the next thing I want to do is I want to go over here and I want to highlight this row and what I want to do is rather than just have a, a number here I want to put a 
uh, put it in a currency value. So how I do that, again I'm going to highlight those cells. So how I do that, I single left click on cell um, E2 here and I just click and hold down. I select them all and then I right click that selection and I go down to format cells on the pop-up menu and I left click and now I go to the number format Let me bring that over there I go to currency and I will go ahead and do I'm going to leave the default but you can change the number of decimal places you can identify whether you want a dollar symbol with it or not you can format how you want negative numbers formatted so I'm just going to go ahead and say okay and you see what happens there it puts a dollar value on there all right, now all I want to do, um, that's really all I want to show you for this um, first week. It's pretty basic. Um, and then as we move forward, we'll get um, move into more um, advanced topics. So to save the file, I'm going to go File, Save As. And now what I want to do is I want to call this, very similar to this file name here. Um, but I'm, So I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to change the name to part three of three and these will be available for download too so I'm going to go ahead and hit save oh a couple quick things I want to share with you here if I want to put this in a different folder I would scroll around here let's say I want to put in the VBA code folder I don't want to do that but um, just wanted to walk through that with you um, let me go back to 10 minute train here and I'm going to put it in the Excel 2010 class folder and I'm going to save it as part three of three and then you'll notice over here there is uh, a drop down menu and you have lots of options here macro enabled workbook, XML data, Excel 97 through 2003 so we'll get into those in future um, future sessions um, but for now we're just going to save it as the default Excel workbook so I'm going to do save and then to quit out of Excel, you can either go to the very top right here and hit the X, or you can go File and choose Exit here. And that's what I want to share with you today. Thanks for joining.